Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Hello. Um, do not drink coffee after brushing your teeth. It it uh it's unpleasant. Still gonna do it though. I didn't go to Fairfield, by the way. I, I don't wanna make it seem like I'm I'm a poser here. Yeah, it's just a sweatshirt and it's comfortable. Uh, my name is Connor. If you're new, hello. I like to learn about history through YouTube recommendations. Rhode Island. New England, USA. In that order. All right. Uh, yeah, I like to learn about history through YouTube recommendations. Original link to the video, top of the description below, right below that. Link to the Discord. Just click on it. Don't be shy. Just click on it. Just do it. It'll send you right over there. Interact with us. Just participate in polls. Talk, don't talk, whatever. Uh, just creates that sort of watering hole atmosphere I want to create on YouTube and Discord. Okay. Why did Sweden and Norway break up? Oh. Um, I know there Norway and Denmark and Norway and Sweden and Sweden and Finland and modern day Estonia area, Livonia or something like that. Yeah, so they're always kind of going against each other or being the same country, and uh, sometimes it's confusing up there. But let's find out if you are not ready to learn. There's the door. This has got it. There's the door. The home ec is down the hall. You're in the wrong class. Go make me a, a pizza or something. All right. Um, history matters. This is probably my 100th. In fact, I am positive this is either my 100th history matters reaction video or it which makes me kind of proud but also makes me sound like sort of a mooch i just i love the channel or it's above 100 and uh since the very beginning of the reaction channel i believe the first reaction video i made was january 4th 5th or 6th forget exactly i think fourth so that'll be my one year anniversary of doing reaction videos and history matters has been there the whole way. Love them. Let's do it. Why did Sweden and Norway break up? Go. Wait. Stop. Go. Go. Breakups are never easy, especially when your ex goes on to become a wealthy petrostate. Is that but this is what Sorry. happened to Sweden, which was initially when your ex goes on to become a wealthy petrostate. But this is what happened to Sweden, which was in a union with Norway for almost a century until they split in 1905. Guys, who, sorry, who is that? No, I know that that's Gorbachev, but who, who, who is that either Kuwait or Qatar or UAE? And this is supposed to represent someone, Kuwait and Iraq, sorry. But this is what happened to Sweden, which was in a union with Norway for almost a century until they split in 1905. But what caused this dissolution? Why did wow. Sweden and Norway break up? So, as of the closing years of the Napoleonic Wars, Napoleon. Norway was a part of the Kingdom of Denmark, whose ruler Frederick VI had just sided with Napoleon. Now, a lot of countries in Europe had done the same previously, like Russia, who had used Swedish closeness with Britain as justification to invade it and grab Finland for its own. Soon after this, Russia decided that it didn't like Napoleon anymore, and so it was time for right. new allies. The Swedish king wasn't doing much because of a heart attack, but his government did sense an opportunity. Finland wasn't coming back, but by siding with the coalition against Napoleon and his Danish ally, Sweden could gain Norway. Something which Britain, Russia and Prussia agreed to. And even the Danish king agreed to its loss, and wasn't coming back, but by siding with the coalition against Napoleon and his Danish ally, Sweden could gain Norway. Something which Britain... Bernadotte, you traitor, sir. No, uh, don't get mad. Last time I said he was Benedict Arnold... People, Swedes got mad at me. I'm not, never mind. Sorry, Bernadotte, great guy. Russia and Prussia agreed to. And even the Danish king agreed to shut it. Up. Finland wasn't coming back. Sitting but by siding with the coalition against Napoleon and his Danish ally, Sweden could gain Norway. Something which Britain, Russia and Prussia agreed to. And even the Danish king agreed to its loss, providing he got to keep Greenland and Iceland. The people of Norway were not happy with suddenly being the subjects of the Swedish king, and so the Prince of Denmark, called Christian because of course he was, declared himself the King of Norway in 1814 and proclaimed its independence. Against the Allies, he stood no chance of succeeding, but whilst they were busy fighting Napoleon, there was an opportunity to win political support. And he turned to Britain, whom he felt would recognise the plight of the Norwegian people and do the right thing to stop them from being handed over to a foreign king. But fun fact, 
No. Tensions rose, and when the Swedish came to claim their prize, fighting broke out. This lasted for about two weeks and ended with the Swedish making some concessions in return for Norway joining the Union voluntarily. Norway would keep its semi-democratic constitution, the king's powers there would be limited and Norway would maintain separate armed forces. Relations between the two states improved over the next half a century, with the Swedish-based kings presenting a much more conciliatory tone to the Norwegian subjects. Although by doing this they angered Swedish politicians, who saw Norway as the junior partner in the Union and many there feared that Norway would never be placated and would simply keep asking for more. And they weren't wrong. Norwegian politicians kept asking for more autonomy over the course of the late 19th century. The big one was when in 1891 Norwegian elections saw the Liberal Party victorious. The Liberals were... Do you guys think that... So I always find the border peculiar uh, with Norway and Sweden. And it roughly straddles a mountain range, right? Like there's a pretty big mountain range down the Scandinavian peninsula. And... Um, and kind of cut the two in half because if that was just a valley on um, if if the border between Norway and Sweden was more less daunting or easier for troops to cross you know like like more of the the Russia Poland you know eastern european corridor would they always have been the same country or is that natural barrier what has kept them on and off separate the whole time I, I i'm my my question is did the mountain range in between the two countries prevent the two from ever joining or was that not why the big one was when in 1891 norwegian elections saw the liberal party victorious the liberals were proponents of norwegian independence but if that couldn't be achieved then they demanded separate foreign and trade policy for norway this was a big no-no since at that point the union would essentially be dead the Norwegian government made a formal request for these new Why powers and that? the Swedish responded with a well-formulated logical argument. No, and if you keep asking, we're going to invade. The Liberals backed down and over the next decade instead opted to focus on Norway. They removed any reference to the Union from their flag, massively increased the size of the armed forces and built up border defences in case of an invasion. And in retaliation... Interesting. So... In the Parliament, Congress, whatever you want to call it, they Norwegian... The Norwegians kept asking for more and more autonomy. Then Sweden put its foot down and said, you keep asking, we're going to put troops in and just take you over completely. And so Norwegians are now like, fine, okay, we'll back down. But in the background, we're going to be building up our defenses and everything for an eventual conflict increased the size of the armed forces and built up border defences in case of an invasion. Marginal and in retaliation, the Swedish ended free trade between the two and imposed tariffs on products from Britain, Norway's largest trade partner. It was 1905 that marked the death of the Union, though, wait, when the Norwegian what? government... Um, wait. And in their flag retaliation, the Swedish the size of the armed forces and built up border defences in case of an invasion. And in retaliation, the Swedish ended free trade between the two and imposed tariffs on products from Britain, Norway's largest trade partner. Ended trade between the two? What do you mean? The Swedish ended free trade between the two. In so in retaliation for upping their defenses, clearly preparing for some kind of conflict on the Swedish border, even though they're technically one country, the retaliation is to cut off trade between each other? Like, like if the US and Canada were in this kind of conflict and Canada kept trying and like the US owned Canada and and Canada kept like building fortifications on their border and then that would be like the US being like all right fine no trade between the two of us and you can't trade with Britain and imposed tariffs on products from Britain Norway's largest trade partner or, or it was 1905 that marked the death of the union though when the Norwegian government passed a law establishing itself a separate diplomatic service the king vetoed this, the government resigned, the king Ned. refused to accept their resignation or appoint a new government, and as such, the Norwegians argued that he was in resignation. I don't care. And in retaliation, the Swedish ended free trade between the two and imposed tariffs on products from Britain, Norway's largest trade partner. It was 1905 that marked the death of the Union, though, when the Norwegian government passed a law establishing itself a separate diplomatic service. The king vetoed this, the government resigned, the king refused to accept their resignation or appoint a new government, and as such, the Norwegians argued that he was in violation of the constitution by leaving Norway without leadership, and in response, the Norwegian parliament declared its independence. In response, Sweden mobilised, which led Norway to do the same, and both armies sat on the border facing off. Swedish politicians and commanders were ready for war, and it was only when the Swedish people were overwhelmingly against military action that they backed down. This... <laughs> 
I want to do the accent so bad, but it's. I hope it's not offensive. The Swedish chef, I'm sorry. And it was only when the Swedish people were overwhelmingly against military action that they backed Sweden, you're awesome. Down. This support was largely due to the Norwegian referendum in which 99.9% .9 of voters backed independence, mm. which made it clear to everyone that Sweden could no longer force Norway to stay. 99. This support was largely due to the Norwegian referendum in which 99.9% .9 of voters backed independence, which made it clear to everyone that Sweden could no longer force Norway to stay. Where were As the such, the Swedish people threatened mutiny in the army and the general strike if Norway was invaded, which meant that King Oscar II had no choice but to acknowledge the end of the union. The Norwegian people then voted for a prince of Denmark to become king of Norway. And thus, after a mere 500 years of being controlled by a foreign power, Norway would once again be an independent state. I hope you enjoyed I did enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for making. The Swedish um, people. If you're, listen, if you don't want to watch me, I, I got to go back and clarify something. Uh, thanks for watching. Very interesting. Um, I almost feel like I'm more confused than I was before. But that's not the fault of the video. That's just me. I, I should have been more sure. I can't believe 19, what, 1905 or, or whatever, uh, 20th century is when they stopped being together. Support was largely due to the Swedish people were overwhelmingly against military action that they backed down. This support was largely due to the Norwegian referendum in which 99.9% .9 of voters backed independence, which made it clear to everyone that Sweden could no longer force Norway to stay. As such, the Swedish people threatened mutiny in the army and the general strike if Norway was invaded, which meant that King Oscar II had no choice but to acknowledge the end of the union. The Norwegian okay. people gave so 9 Swedes... of voters backed independence, okay. which made it clear to everyone that Sweden could no longer force Norway to stay. As such, the Swedish people threatened mutiny in the army and the general strike if Norway was invaded, okay. which meant that... All right. I don't want to hear complaints about... All right, I think I understand here, okay? History matters, great as always. See you guys next time.